One of the more intriguing storylines in this NFL head coaching hiring cycle is what went down in Arizona. So they brought in Jonathan Gannon, former D.C. of the Philadelphia Eagles. And, of course, Jonathan Gannon does have ties as he was a former assistant for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings. And our guy, uh, Kevin Brown, pointed out that both Gannon as well as uh, both of his coordinators have ties to the Vikings. So Gannon was the assistant DB coach uh, under Mike Zimmer and Jerry Gray back in the day, 2014-2017, before uh, by bouncing around, eventually getting the Eagles D.C. job and then ascending to uh, the Cardinals head coaching job. Uh, Drew Petzing, uh, the offensive coordinator, massive opportunity for him. So he was on the staff for a long time, 2014 to 2019, uh, working his way from assistant wide receiver coach, assistant QB coach, wide receivers coach for a season before following Kevin Stefanski to the Browns in 2020. Uh, Big-time opportunity, calling plays, trying to uh, I don't know, maximize Kyler Murray. Congratulations. And then Nick Rallis, awesome story here. So the pride of Edina, uh, he was a Gophers linebacker back in the day, stud, and he was with the Vikings for three seasons as defensive quality control as well as assistant linebackers coach in 2020. Uh, followed Gannon to Philly, and now at 29 is the youngest coordinator in the National Football League. But all three have ties to the Vikings and specifically have ties to Mike Zimmer. That's right, the, the Zimmer coaching tree, it's spreading its roots out in the deserts, becoming a Joshua tree. And what's really interesting, so uh, all the talk is that you know, Deion Sanders says, like, yeah, Z- Zimmer's coming with me to Colorado because Zimmer was an analyst at Jackson State with primetime last season. I don't think it's set in stone because uh, I-, I think it's still a possibility that Zimmer joins Gannon, who they obviously ha- have a good relationship uh, in Arizona as like a senior defensive assistant or assistant head coach or something to, to that effect because uh, I think Zimmer – even though you know, Zimmer, I'm sure he'll do fine in college. Like he misses the NFL, I think this would be a, a good way to get back in and getting in with a team that is a tear down, a rebuild on defense, and could potentially work with some young guys as well as uh, impart some wisdom on Gannon. And Gannon can lean on him. Zimmer's been there, done that, got the T-shirt when it comes to being a head coach. So uh, I, I think also that Gannon. He's a smart enough guy, and he realizes the difficulties of being a defensive-minded head coach working uh, with a quarterback and just trying to have that continuity and relationship. So he can learn things from Zimmer, you know, what was good about Zimmer and Cousins, what was bad about Zimmer and Cousins. I think that uh, that Gannon is smart enough to incorporate that with his relationship with Kyler Murray uh, going forward. But, you know, like I said, super interesting that – you know, the Zimmer year and the Zimmer tenure, uh, you know, it's uh, his coaching tree is expanding because you have Stefanski and now you got uh, and then you have Pat Shermer and now you got Gannon uh, out there and then eventually Petzing and maybe Rawls could become head coaches uh, down the lines. And, and Zimmer is a branch of the Bill Parcells coaching tree, which, of course, ha- has the branches all over the league uh, and will for many uh, years to come. So it's kind of cool how uh, everything does come together. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, the Arizona Vikings. That's right. The Cardinals sampling very heavily from the Zimmer coaching tree uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below subscribe for daily vikings takes most part the work put a little something in the venmo but to next time skull production value